the one reason why Camilla Parker Bowles won't ever be queen. As Queen Elizabeth II begins to slow down, handing off some of her royal duties to her son, Prince Charles and her grandsons, Prince William and Prince Harry, it appears that the longest reigning monarch in British history is ready to step aside as queen. Since he was a small boy, Prince Charles has been first in line to become King of England. However, almost seven decades later, with a handful of scandals and some unsavory details revealed about his marriage to Princess Diana, it looks like the British public is a bit wary of accepting him as their new leader. Additionally, many folks are not too thrilled about his wife, Duchess Camilla Parker Bowles as the new Queen of England. However, there is one reason that it's highly unlikely the Duchess of Cornwall will ever be Queen. The Brits remember. Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla tied the knot in 2005 after a nearly 40-year-long on-again, off-again relationship. It was one that overlapped with both of their respective marriages. Prince Charles' ex-wife, the late Princess Diana, was beloved across the globe, so when details about the prince's affair with the Duchess leaked, the public was disgusted. A solemn promise. Though the Duchess loves everything about being royal, she has been very pleased with the additions of Duchess Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle to the family. Apparently, she's enjoyed the fact that much of the spotlight has shifted away from her and her past indiscretions to the younger royals. In fact, when she and Prince Charles wed in 2005, they did everything that could to ease the public's disdain, including promising that the Duchess would never become queen. Their wedding announcement said, it is intended that Mrs. Parker Bowles should use the title HRH the Princess Consort when the Prince of Wales accedes to the throne. Princess Diana forever. The Brits have a long memory, and it's not just Duchess Camilla's past affair with her current husband that makes them less accepting of her. It's also their love for the late Princess of Wales and the sheer devastation that was felt globally when she was killed in 1997. In fact, when Duchess Camilla turned 70 in July 2017, her birthday was largely ignored, and a documentary on her was postponed because it was also the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. In fact, neither Prince William nor Prince Harry so much as acknowledged their stepmother's birthday publicly. The Prince's Approval When Prince Charles does become king, he will apparently need his son's approval if he wants to make Duchess Camilla Queen instead of Princess Consort. Unfortunately, it appears that the boys and their father aren't exactly on the best terms at the moment. In the 20 years since the death of Princess Diana, Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship with their father has had its ups and downs. However, after deciding to be public custodians of their late mother's memory, their relationship has gotten even frostier. A close friend of Prince Charles told Express UK. He has little influence over the boys these days beyond the fact that he controls their money. It was pretty clear they don't have a good word for Camilla. Legally impossible. Duchess Camilla might never get her much desired queen title because it might not be legally feasible. When she wed Prince Charles in 2005, the pair were married in a civil ceremony. However, royals are typically married in churches. Civil marriages were not extended to the royal family in the Marriage Act 1836. In 1949 there was an additional act that stated, nothing in this act shall affect any law or custom relating to the marriage of members of the royal family. However, because they were both previously divorced and their union was extremely unpopular, the future king and his wife were wed in a civil ceremony which meant that their marriage might not be royally legal. If this is the case, Duchess Camilla could never be queen. The Mirror columnist Susie Boniface explained, If your marriage is recognized by the state but not the constitution, you cannot be crowned queen as the wife of the head of state in a constitutionally recognized coronation in which your husband becomes the head of state. An unlikely king, like Duchess Camilla, Prince Charles doesn't exactly have stellar approval rates among the British public. As a result, there have been rumors that the prince has been considering skipping over becoming king and passing the title to his eldest son, Prince William. If the prince is considering this move, his wife will never be queen. A royal insider told Women's Day, Camilla has told Charles to man up and fight. She's fuming and has told him it was his destiny to be on the throne. Camilla is livid that William could potentially take the throne and she's pointing the finger of blame firmly on poor Kate. There's nothing better than a bit of royal drama. Being sneaky, despite their civil marriage, the public's disapproval, and a lack of support from his sons, 
Prince Charles has always been devoted to Duchess Camilla. Therefore, if she wants to be queen, he might stamp his feet and make sure that she gets what she wants. In fact, it already seems like things are headed that way. Prince Charles' official website removed information about his wife's future title in the frequently asked questions sections, and everyone noticed. A Clarence House spokesperson told The Telegraph, Our frequently asked questions are regularly updated. This is one question that Clarence House has not been asked by the public for some time, which is why it no longer features.